I greatly appreciate the fact that you've decided to come and join us today. I will leave to Patty the chance of closing this session, but I certainly want to say as the CEO, it was an honor and a privilege for the MUHC to receive you. Thank you very much. I was going to give summary remarks, but I don't need to because this panel has just put it all together so beautifully, um, really, in terms of the common themes that have come forward. Um, so you have been an extraordinarily attentive audience. This has been a very long day. I'm sure your heads are sort of popping off your shoulders. I know mine is. There's so much that we heard, um, so many exemplars and so many things for us to think about and then to take action about. Because at the end of the day, as Ross Baker, who started our session today, said, the bottom line at the end of the day, it's about leadership. And it's about leadership from every single person in this room. And what you're going to do on Monday, so you can think about that on your way home. What are you going to do on Monday about putting the patient first and at the center, patient and family? I cannot close the day without thanking the many people who made this possible. Um, I'm not going to go through all the individual names, but first of all, thank you to the many presenters uh, who have come and shared their different ideas and creative uh, initiatives that they have led, um, and the persons here who were presenting today who really were thought leaders. Thank you as well to the planning and the administrative committee. It's, uh, it takes a, the work of a lot of people. Thank you very particularly to my co-lead, Susan Usher, in this effort. But there are many members. Uh, all the members of the planning committee, the admin committee, are here in the room. Maybe you can all just stand very briefly, briefly so they will know who has put all this work together. So the administrative committee and the members of the planning committee, please. Thank you. The final thanks go to our sponsors because they have made this day possible for free. And that's pretty extraordinary when you think about, uh, I mean, people have come in from a number of different places and there are costs associated with that. And our commitment in the Isaiah program is to provide this, this policy think tank and this innovation think tank, but at no expense to the organization. So it is entirely due to the incredible generosity of our sponsors. 